Milwaukee and the Portland Thorns. What a, what a game, Josh. Back and forth action, even though Portland dominated a lot of the first half. We had great chances by both teams. Here, Press making the breakaway, crossing over to, to A-Rod with just one touch. So close to getting that first goal. But you can see how well those two players read each other. And then on the flip side, Portland getting the ball in the middle, sending it to Haran. Nice chip. Nope. Barnhart sends it wide, reads that well. Well, Barnhart was absolutely marvelous tonight. This corner sent in, headed off the crossbar. Dagny Brynja's daughter nearly got Portland on the board with that one. And so many close calls like that for Portland all night. But here was the goal. Press sending it over to Becky Sauerbrunn, of all people, heading it in, sending it against the direction it came from to find that far corner. Nothing Adriana French can do there. Funny little back. We'll take a break. We'll come back with highlights and stats from this one. Utah with the victory, one to zero. But she's probably in a much better groove now than she was at that point. Press the lines for the corner. Outward swinging ball. No problem there for A.D. French. Actually having played some minutes. Rasso, Purse, Sinclair. Plays it wide. Heath. Heath. Horan drops it back. That one takes a deflection. Purse was trying to dive out of the way. Sneaky move by Heath, of course. Followed by another sneaky move by Horan to get it back. Have come from inside the box. She's so dangerous on that final finish. Sinclair whips it in. Got the corner call. Other side, Tobin Heath getting over there. Look at Portland Thorns, 39 goals on the season, 18 of those on the road. Producing at home and on the road this year. Look at players that have scored for Caitlin Ford, all three of her goals on the road. Mitch Purse, three of her goals on the road. Keith sends it in, and that one nodded away. Comes Branch around. has the single season shot record. Sauerbrunn sends across. Press just not able to get any touch behind that. And it also shows you with keepers that your, your, your career can last a lot longer in goalkeeping than on the field. With Nicole Barnhart, oldest player in defense, kept them earning the wins and the draws. Bowen. In towards the six. And that was. Press bounding forward. Goes away by Brynja Stoddard. Attacking the area. Stangle. Press streaking down the side. I love the thinking from A-Rod. One touch it. Try to. Press right back to Verrill. Verrill goes wide. Weber, trying to get by Carpenter, Weber with her right, and that one right out. Sinclair back to Horan, and that one's going to be, instead of trying to catch it, she just batted it wide. But better safe than sorry. This ball whipped in. Headed by Horan. And then Barnhart able to... Rasso. Rasso into the area, gets around one defender. Sends it across, trying to find Purse. And that one cleared away by Scott. Horan sends it right back. And last year went the entire regular season, committing only one foul. Think about it, she's coming out of Georgetown, a, a school that had never been to the College Cup. Now they've been right-footed, lofted ball from Heath, right to the six, great lead by Brynjar's daughter, get her head on it, and she's even angling it down. It's just not getting... Heath. 
here. Back post. Fran trying to get her head on. Short corner. Harold. Press. Sends it into the area. That one headed forward, and that one drives it through for the first goal of the evening for the Utah Royals FC. Coming from Becky Sauerbrunn. Wow, I, I thought that blonde ponytail was a Rodriguez ponytail, but no, that's a Sauerbrunn ponytail. And I always love how Becky Sauerbrunn celebrates first. Nice locking ball from Press. Bullet header doing the smartest thing, changing the direction of the ball, sending it back where it came, just inside the Heath. Heath trying to flip that one over, and that takes a deflection off Rachel Corsi. You can see the frustration from Heath. That, that would have been perfectly on frame if Rachel Corsi hadn't been standing right there. But at least she earned a corner from it. We've seen a lot of corners from the Thorns already. 6-1 of the evening coming right here. Near post. That one flipped off. Bouncing around. And... Lofting ball, right foot, but near post. Barnhart gets a, a hand on it, but can't lay in their game. They may not have as many chances, but they've certainly taken advantage of the chances they've had. Press able to get around Carpenter. Now on the edge of the area. Sings it in. Rodriguez trying to wiggle her way out. Press towards the spot. I think that's what makes Utah so dangerous is these players can finish, but they can also provide to each other. So all your combinations of Press, Rodriguez, and Jenny has been a very key contributor for the Thorns this season. Ouch, look at that. Vera grabbing onto I like the, the armor Vera The service. Minga sends it right back in, put forward, and that one slapped Great away. Read and saved by Barnhart. Looping ball, Horan gets her head on it, sends it down. That's a really tough place for Keeper to make the save. What looks like would be right past France, but no. One touch it. Press with the right. Different. And that one right at France. Seems like we're getting a little bit moment after, after this replay, but Press getting the ball over, it looked like. Press trying to get around sign. She's going to be ripped down. And this will be the first yellow card dished out. Press trying to flip it overhead. Sonnet's all over her. Look at that. Grabbing her from both sides, not quite getting the neck, but now that she can, like, you know, let's go say, yeah, that was my sonnet. Sorry. Hurt I would have to match. She's very unhappy with something with the referee. Hangingberg sends it in, and that one punched up in the air. To go as well. Rodriguez brought down in the circle, and that will be another yellow card. And that's going to be a red now. On Sonnet, and Sonnet's gonna have to exit. Yeah. Hands on a player pushing down. I don't know how that's not a card. Sonnet was beat and took down Amy Rodriguez. She was the last line, to and now Amy Rodriguez also. Late game heroics this season. Maybe you get the push from Horan in. Now tempers flaring on both sides. Horan knocking down. Horan coming up, pushing her off the ball. At the end line, trying to cut that one back. Gets right back on top. Keith plays it out. Klingenberg. Her Barnhart just falls right on top. Gets that left foot on it, spins, but a little bit too much spin to send it wide. Dramatic, amazing saves to show. Now, nine wins on the season for the Portland Thorns.